Hey guys, what is up? It is SSD Middleman here with Guides for Us All, and today we're going to be checking out the unique weapon Goss Rifle in the Fallout 3 DLC Operation Anchorage. Now to get this weapon, you're going to need to complete the simulation inside of the DLC. Once you get through, head into the Treasure Vault, and you will find the Goss Rifle. Now the Goss Rifle is a completely unique weapon, that being it has no other variants, not even common variants. So it is going to be hard to repair, you're going to have to repair it with the NPCs or the Alien Epoxy from the Mothership Zeta DLC. Now, this weapon is pretty fantastic. It only has one shot in the clip, but it does have 100 base damage and a special innate effect that knocks enemies down when you do hit them with a critical attack. Plus, the critical percentage multiplier is times 5, and it deals 50 critical damage. So you must be thinking, what's really the downside of this weapon? This thing sounds insane. Well, it does only have one shot in the clip, and the reload time is about 2.3 seconds, meaning you're only going to fire one shot every 2 or 3 seconds and that is pretty dang slow but when you are concentrated on one enemy let's assume you're fighting a very powerful enemy like a super mutant behemoth or death claws and you do have the finesse perk which gives you an even higher critical hit chance plus your luck skill is high and the critical percentage multiplier being times five you will nail a critical hit almost every single time making it very trivial whether these super hard enemies are even super hard anymore now there are a few problems with this weapon, it is not without its faults. Now, it can fire 375 shots from full condition before breaking, so you're really not going to have to worry about this thing breaking down that quickly, especially since you can only fire one shot every two or three seconds, but there are a lot of bugs about this weapon. The scope is not perfectly zeroed, meaning even when you aim right at the enemy, sometimes it will travel up and to the right and miss them. Also, another huge glitch with this weapon is sometimes shots from the Gauss Rifle don't do any damage to the enemy that you shot. No matter what, if you hit them, if you headshot them, it doesn't matter, it won't deal damage. But if you critical hit, it will still knock them down. I don't know why it does this sometimes, but it just won't do any damage. Also, another weird thing about it is when you shoot in vats, it will actually do 95.244% of the max damage instead of dealing regular damage. Who knows? why all these glitches apply to the Goss Rifle, or if you can consider them unique effects, but <laughs> yeah, uh, you can even shoot the target's weapon and get a critical hit and they'll still knock the target down. Just so many weird things with this weapon, you're going to experience a lot of these glitches, even just playing with this for 5 or 10 minutes, you're going to see this is a very buggy weapon, but the damage output and the knockdown possibility is really incredible, and that's why I'd recommend picking it up. Anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like rating down below and subscribe to see some more videos in the future, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.